Hi, this is Derek with Yeti Snow MX. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the track and change the drive shaft if you want to upgrade to the, our titanium version. Okay, to do this job, we'll start by removing the rear suspension. It's just a matter of taking these four bolts off and loosening off the track tension. And then we'll proceed to uh, remove our, our gears and our belt and press the drive shaft out. Okay, we're going to start at the back and we'll loosen our track tension off. To do this, you just need a standard set of tools. Here we have a 17 millimeter. And then an 8 millimeter to back it off. Some of our early, earlier ones were a 10 millimeter. Okay, now we're going to remove our four suspension bolts from the chassis. Uh, one tip with these is there are there is Loctite on them, so it's good to run one out and then run it right back in again until it's tight, so that you can remove the, do the same on the other side to get the Loctite off the threads. Now to get the rear suspension out, we need to collapse the shocks and uh, fasten them down. We'll let the air out, just pull the bottom, bottom plug out and let the air out of the shock. Now we just want to hold the suspension collapsed to make the suspension easy to pull out. I have a clip that I made, you can hold it down, but for those that don't have, a zip tie works just fine. And we just lift the tunnel up, drag up. Suspension out. Okay, now we'll remove the belt, the bottom gear, and undo the bolts for the bearing on the bottom. Start with a 17 millimeter. And loosen the nut. Then we can back off our tensioner. On some of the new ones, there'll be a jam nut on the back side. This one doesn't have it. We can pull the belt off. Slide off the bottom gear. I will take a, a five mil and take these bolts out of the bottom. Okay, now we've got the bolts removed, pull the washer off, and now we'll spin it around and work from the other side. Okay, first we'll remove the bolt, it's a 17 millimeter. Then we'll remove these two bolts, it's a 5 millimeter Allen. And now these three. Now we have to remove the, the banjo bolt. Yeah, if you've already had the kit installed, there's going to be brake fluid here, so just be aware, get some rags underneath to keep it clean. And there's a washer in behind. And now we're just going to push the shaft back a little bit with our press tool. Okay, 
Now we just need to tighten this up and uh, push the shaft out. tip this up and uh, pull our track off. Okay, now back on the other side. Um, here's our drive shaft. There's two options here. If you have this still mounted on the bike and you just want to pull the track out, you don't have to pull this bearing off. You can just shove it, shove the track, or shove the shaft back. Like so, and just allow it to drop and you can slide the track out. But in this case, we want to pull the shaft out, so uh, I'll show you how to pull this bearing off. The other half of our tool that comes with the kit slides in behind. And you can put this through here, and it pulls on the, on the bearing on the back side so you're not pulling on the ears and damaging anything. shaft. Now we can just tip the shaft out and the track and everything will be off. There we have our drive shaft now. If you want to replace your rotor, just pull the snap ring and the rotor slides off. And your track is now disconnected from the bike.